in the world of statistics there is a divide between two philosophies frequentism and bayesianism the difference between frequentism and bayesianism basically comes down to a philosophical question and the philosophy is what do we mean by probability let us perform a small experiment and see where you stand are you a frequentist or a bayesian suppose i am about to toss a coin what do you think is the probability of getting a head i hope you are saying 0.5 or 50 percent now suppose i have tossed the coin and i know the result but you still don't know the result now if i ask you what is the probability of the coin getting a head what would be your response now you might be saying one of the following some of you might say the result is already there but but for you the probability of getting head is still 50% if you like this line of thinking you are aligned with the bayesian perspective some of you might be saying that the coin has already landed its head or tail already there is no probability about it the event has already happened so asking for probability is a stupid question you can say if the coin has landed on heads the answer is 100% if it stays the answer is 0% I don't know which one it is but there is an actual answer and there is no probability about it. If you like this line of thought you are aligned with the frequentist perspective. We can see that the entire argument between frequentist and bayesian is about what is probability. Everything is derived from there. So what is probability? A frequentist thinks of probability as something that is related to the frequencies of repeated events. If we say that there is a 50% chance that a coin will land heads, the reason we know that is if we toss a coin say 100,000 times, somewhere around 50,000 times of them would be heads. But for Bayesians, it is a little bit different. Probability for Bayesians is fundamentally related to their own beliefs. to their own certainty and uncertainty of events so when i say that i'm 50% certain that this coin will land heads it's bayesian it's not because i have tossed the coin like 100000 times or even imagined of doing the toss because i have somehow assigned some sort of probability to define that uncertainty in my own knowledge and belief which currently states it's 50% this fundamental difference boils up through all the practices that has been developed in both of these areas the immediate consequence is that we both analyze different thing let us now try to understand the definition of p value from the bayesian and frequentist perspective for a frequentist the p value is the probability of the observed data or more extreme data under the assumption that the null hypothesis is true here the p value is not the probability of a theory or hypothesis but the probability of observed data given a specific hypothesis the p value in the shaded green region in the picture is the probability of an observed or an extreme result assuming that the null hypothesis is true now from a bayesian per approach the probability in general is an expression of a degree of belief of an event based on the prior knowledge or like previous experience or personal belief so for a bayesian the p value is the probability of the hypothesis given the data we know that the probability of the observed data given hypothesis is not equivalent to the probability of the hypothesis given the observed data so we can see that even for a p valued there is a subtle difference in understanding between the bayesian and the frequentist from the coin toss experiment we discussed earlier we found that even when the coin has landed bayesian still assign probability of 50% to the result of the coin landing heads many people might feel 
the Bayesians think of the coin as in undetermined quantum state or like a Schrodinger's coin. But that's not true. Bayesians understand the coin has landed and they understand the point of view of the frequentist as well. They are not just interested in that. They are interested in their own perspective. They look at the world from their own point of view, in their own opinion. And in their own opinion, the probability of head is 50%. On other hand, frequentist believes in the absolute truth. They care about the true answer. The true answer that is already present in the universe. If the truth is heads, their answer is 100%. If the truth is tails, their answer is 0%. Their analysis is oriented in that truth and not in their evolving opinion. So as opposed to the frequentist, which basically based on an infinite number of repeatable events, Bayesians relates with the subjective belief. So Bayesian statistics uses the idea of updating beliefs with new information when testing a particular hypothesis. So Bayesians usually have a prior belief and when we multiply it to the base factor we get a posterior belief. So that is the updated version of, uh, of the old belief. So here the base factor represents the amount of information that we have learned about a hypothesis from the data. Frequentists analyze variation of data and derived quantities of data. We measure some parameter and make that measurement again and again. We can analyze how those measurements vary given our fixed model. Bayesians on the other hand analyze variations of beliefs about parameter. So the fundamental difference is that frequentists talk about models being fixed and data varying around them. And Bayesians talk about observed data being fixed and vary the model around them. Now suppose someone gives you an answer that the average population weight is 80 plus minus 4 kg. So what does that plus minus 4 means? It turns out that because of philosophical differences between these two approaches, it is a very different thing in a very subtle way. Okay. The frequentist, when they talk about confidence interval, suppose uh, for a 95% confidence interval, they will say it something like, if this experiment is repeated many times, in 95% of the cases, the computed confidence interval will contain the true parameter value. Now a Bayesian would say that of the same 95% confidence interval, that given our observed data, there is a 95% probability that the true value of the parameter lies within the credible region. Frequentists keeps the model parameters fixed and says the confidence interval itself is varying. The confidence interval is derived from the data which is a random quantity which is derived from the model. The Bayesian keeps the credible region fixed and varies the value of the model parameter. So there is a belief about model parameter and that moves throughout the space. So we can see that the two philosophies here are at little opposite to each other. That is why Bayesians are often called an inverse probability problem. Because you are basically taking a frequentist problem and turning it on its head. And often this ends up having interesting consequences for certain problems. From the coin toss experiment, suppose when we see how the coin has landed, and suppose it has landed as tails, then the probability of the coin landing head both from a Bayesian and a frequentist perspective is 0%. But the difference is when the coin has landed and you haven't seen the answer, then the Bayesian will say, from my perspective, the probability of head is still 50%. Frequentist will say the actual answer is 0 or 100%. There is no probability. I just don't know the answer. So which philosophical perspective one should go with? Now both have their advantages and disadvantages. A Bayesian can never be wrong because he is always has his own opinion. It is always about his own opinion. They take a starting position, they see some evidence and they update their opinion. At the end of the day, it is still their opinion. It has nothing to do with everyone else's opinion or uh, opinion of the universe in general. 
they think it is just a sensible way to update their opinion as data comes along but is there a good standard for how you might collaborate opinions not really it's all about you and all about your own perspective there is no notion of what are the chances of my method gives me the wrong answer because there is no wrong answer frequentists on other hand want to say that if i were to repeat this procedure many many times some of these times i would probably guess correctly some of the times i won't if i guessed head i would get it right around 50% of the time so they have this notion of getting it right they have a notion of did i guess the truth properly they have a fundamental belief in the absolute truth the bayesians don't have that notion they had an opinion and when they get new data they update their opinion if that is what you want bayesian is for you on other hand if you want to talk about what are the chances my method hit the right answer if i do this method over and over if you want this idea about the method's quality like how i am doing my analysis at a particular quality level as captured by the power and significance then the frequency perspective is for you